Hey guys, welcome to Tropic 05. Brand new game, same old bonehead doing the commentary. Right, I'm going to dive straight into this and we'll talk about stuff as we're actually playing. So I'm going to pick a campaign and uh, we're going to go for Changing the World, which is the only campaign. We'll pick a new dynasty, which we will call the Skystorm Dynasty. Why not? And we'll confirm that. Right, now we've got a few um, options to configure our person. The only one that I'm going to talk about is the skill. Uh, we can we can pick names and genders and races and faces and clothes and stuff like that, but the, the skill is the kind of the important one. Now, I'm actually going to recommend, you've got like general, uh, gives you more damage for your, for your soldiers, no, not that great. Uh, administrator, service building and construction costs decreased by 10%. That's actually not a bad one. Um, agent uh, detects it and rolls 20% faster. Nah. Um, agitator, you get two extra votes. That's not so great. Altruist. Now this gives you a 2,000 startup bonus, which is not too bad. But I think celebrity is the best one. And you know, and you can argue with me, but I'm not going to listen because this increases some um, uh, foreign aid. Now foreign aid is actually pretty significant in the game, and you'll find that you'll you'll make 2,000 from increased the 10% the increase foreign aid within like uh, f three, four, five years. So um, that's very good. It's certainly better. Now, cheapskate, that's 4% um, cheaper construction. Environmental pollution is not really that big a deal. See, financier gives you 200 um, annual income. And that's going to take you like 10 years to get the same as altruist, which um, uh, celebrity is just way better. So I'm going to go with um, celebrity. Yep, and um, let me uh, figure out an outfit. Okay, so I've picked a, a nice classical dictator-looking outfit. He's got the big beard, he's got the sunglasses. Yeah, looking good. Alrighty. Okay, so we can now choose our difficulty level. I'm going to go with the default for this, um, just just for the first one. Uh, and I, I, I want your comments of like what you'd like to see uh, in future. I'm going to do an initial one where we just play through on the default settings and uh, then we'll probably start a new one and go for like really hard and really push the game and we'll see what we can do. I I'm going to play on um, KO de Fortuna. I have, um, my Spanish is terrible so there's going to be lots of mispronunciations in this KO de Fortuna. Um, but we've got an option to do lots of silly um, <laughs> South America voices. Oh, El Presidente and all that kind of thing. This game has a great sense of humour. And, um, and we're going to be playing that up, and we're going to have lots of fun. Ah, the Caribbean. A lush and untamed land. My new home. Beautiful and full of promise. A new beginning, far from the politics of the old world. Welcome to the Caribbean, Governor. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. Alrighty, now I'm going to leave the voices on because some of the some of the stuff is actually pretty funny, uh, as you will see. But uh, we'll see how we go. And if you've if you've got any opinions, again, drop me a comment. Right, so we have got this colony, and uh, the Tropico Four is different from the previous Tropicos. And by the way, I am a noob to the Tropico series, so uh, my knowledge is, is fairly limited on, on the old uh, versions. But I know that Eras is a brand new thing. Um, let's, um, let's spin the old camera around a little bit. and Right, and you know what? Let's kind of get going, and I'll, I'll talk about the other stuff as we go along. So these spinning icons give us some um, tasks that we need to achieve, little quests. So um, let's kick off. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today. As Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Now, this is excellent because... Um, the, the way the game works, economy-wise, is you get the majority of your income from trading. So you grow crops or you, you, you create um, products using industry, and then you, you ship them out. So um, now, the Platinum Package um, can be quite good, but I think probably we're going to start with the, um, with the Silver. You know what? I, the trading is kind of so important that I'm actually going to try starting off with the Platinum Package. 
and uh, and we'll see what extra uh, trading offers we get. Now you can take a cheap one from the Dutch, but you get a, a negative with the crown. Now because we've gone with celebrity as our um, skill for our Presidente, I want to keep our relations good with the crown initially, so, because we'll get lots more cash from them, because they, they send you foreign aid every year, which is worth a lot. So I, you know what, I'm going to go with the platinum package... And uh, let's see what else we've got. His Majesty needs money to build a new underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. Cool. So they're asking us to build a sugar plantation. Uh, and that will extend our mandate by six months. Now, we have a mandate. Um, so we're the governor. We're appointed governor for four years. But this gets extended uh, by various tasks and things that you complete as you go through. But it is kind of a time limit, so you don't have an unlimited amount of time to uh, to complete this mission. And the ultimate objective of this mission is to declare it, uh, independence. So, um, yeah, we'll obviously accept that. Right, now I'm going to pause the game while we um, kind of have a look around and get set up. Now, we've got the uh, the trading docks down here. Now, this is where the ships come in and they collect the stuff and, and, and take it away. Um, not too much to say about that. You, this gives us access to the trade menu, which you can also get by clicking down here. And um, here you'll get offers to um, import or export goods, which um, is, is how you basically get your cash or the, the, the large portion of your, uh, your income. Um, and as you can see, because we took the um, the platinum package we've got quite a few offers so we can ship that lot uh, we can that's an import right the red ones are the exports so we can export to um, like the West India Company the West the West India Company is effectively the crown so if we trade with them then our foreign standing with the crown which is this little icon uh, will go up um, but you also get uh, that's the West India uh, but you can also export to smugglers, right? Now, if you do that, you, you tend to get better prices, right? So this, like, this is 30% higher prices than the, than the default price, but it affects your standing negatively with the crown. So you've got to be kind of careful initially. But uh, like, as you go on and get closer to independence, where you're going to completely upset the crown anyway, you can take more of the, 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 the smugglers' stuff, um, or you can, hey, if if you're not worried about the crown, if you've got a strong economy, then you can just go for it straight away. Hey, um, so logs we can import or export. There's no industry goods. There's no luxury goods. Okay, cool. Is there anything that I want to kick off with, like, pretty much straight away? Mm. We've got some good options to export tobacco. That's pretty good. That's like a 50% bump. So I think tobacco is going to be something that we're going to do like pretty quickly. Okay, so we need to build a sugar plantation um, to, to, to complete this task. Let's carry on looking at the building side. This is the Teamsters office. The Teamsters office, um, they move stuff around. So from our plantation, we grow stuff. And it need, the goods need to be moved from the plantation down to the trading docks. And it's the Teamsters that move that. And let's say we've got a logging camp where we're cutting down trees to make logs. And then we've got a lumber mill um, where we're turning those logs into, say, planks. Then um, the Teamsters will move the stuff from one to the other. And then when we create the planks, if we're exporting them, they'll move them to the docks and they'll get shipped out. So that's basically that. Now over here, we've got some houses. Um, nothing, nothing too special about those. That's just where people live. We'll talk about the different types of houses. These are little shacks down here, uh, which is basically the homeless. They build shacks. And then um, this is the construction office. This handles building all of the things that we're going to build. And then over here, here's our presidential palace. This is where El Presidente lives. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff, but we'll get into all of this as we go through. Now, down here, very, very quickly, we've got um, the build menu, but like most of the time you just access it with uh, by right-clicking, which you'll see me doing all the time. And then we've got the almanac. Now, the almanac is all of your kind of reports. So here's your economy, and also shows you your happiness and 
details on your people, who's unemployed, who's employed, uh, you know, how many homeless you've got, that kind of stuff. And then there's the, the politics. Now, in in this era, now we're in the colon we start off in the colonial era, and then we go into the World Wars era, and then modern times, and so and so, and, and so on. I should have said. Um, and this tells you like who the different factions are. So right now, there's the royalists, the people who support the crown, and the revolutionaries. These are the people that we want to like cozy up to because um, these are the people who are going to help us um, declare independence so we want to be very friendly with them this is our dynasty and we started off with um, the, the one that I just created Alberto Alberto Skystorm El Presidente he's not Presidente yet though he's only um, El Governor at the moment and as you can see celebrity and uh, foreign aid uh, increased by 10% that's his, his skill now you can level these guys up um, and it's this is all paid for by the Swiss bank account, and we will talk about that in due course. Uh, and then finally, buildings, like what buildings you've got. Cool. All right. Let's get on with this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put in a little bit of infrastructure. So I'm going to, hmm, like how am I going to structure this? I think I'm going to take this road, like, up here. Yep, up there. And um, then I'm going to join this road up here and then I'm gonna take this road across here all right cool and then I'm gonna have I, I know for a fact that I'm gonna put in at least one more dock so I'm actually gonna run this road across here sort of kind of ready for that because I know I'm gonna do that alrighty now I've uh, I've played through the tutorial and I've seen a few other stuff. I was in Dizzy's Twitch channel last night, uh, Dizzy Disaster. If you if you don't know Dizzy, you should check him out. And uh, so I, I know a kind of a little bit about the game, but um, I'm going to be kind of relying on you Tropico experts to give me a bit of a helping hand with this game. I have to say, let's um, let's run that road up there, and I'm going to run that across to there. I think um, I don't know. We'll find something to put in there. I don't know. We'll put up. A library or some kind of nice posh building to go next to the uh, I don't know maybe the embassy or something like that would be cool in there alrighty let's um let's get on then so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the old uh, plantations now this is in the raw resource and there's, there's a lot of tabs here and it I, I, there is a bit of a learning curve to finding out where everything is so if, if I don't know where a building is like bear with me but I do know that plantations uh, is on the the, re, the raw resources tab so I'm going to take a plantation now when you place these when you look at the map you'll see that um, some areas are yellow some are green and some are red. There's a red bit up there, right? And depending on what colour it is, t tells you like how good this um, this particular building is going to do uh, in this particular area. So we want uh, nice green areas for our building buildings. So I am going to kick off by putting um, a. Now I need to build a sugar plantation. But we can get some like really good income if we do tobacco like pretty much straight away. So I'm actually going to put a tobacco plantation in. I think that's pretty green right there. Yeah, I'm going to go with a tobacco plantation. And yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I actually that moved uh, away. So. But it's still connected, so I'm going to live with that. Space is one thing that you kind of don't have to worry about too much. There's a lot of space in this game, so I, like, I, I think it's pretty difficult to run out of space. Okay, so we've put that plantation in. We've got a little bit more cash that we can spend. So I think I'm probably going to put in another plantation. And you know what? I'm going to put in another tobacco plantation, I think. Like, kind of right next to this one. Th there. I'm actually going to put it in the right place. And I'm going to put in a little bit more road. Because these... If they've got a little arrow... You see that little red arrow? That means that they need to be connected to a road. So I'm just going to run a little road across there. Cool! So we're now going to start, once this gets built, let's crank this up, 
we're now going to start producing um, oops didn't cancel the roads there we go crack this up once these get built and they don't take very long to build these plantations um, we'll be able to start producing tobacco the tobacco will be shipped down to the docks and I am going to trade tobacco and I'm going to take this one because it's like 50% more than the default price which is very very good and it'll improve our standing with the crown which is good news so I'm just going to bang that in like I'm not does it the contract lasts for five years okay so I'm actually going to wait until these plantations one of these plantations gets built and as soon as it does then I'm going to take that contract and boom there you go now very quickly I'm going to pause this for a second while we while we take a look at this now th the budget up here allows you to sort of uh, decide how much money gets uh, spent on this and the more money you spend on it the better quality uh, you'll have for your workers uh, the more you'll pay them uh, but the more efficiency you'll get out of it and I want this tobacco to be very efficient so I'm going to crank that up and I'm going to do the same for this one when this gets built um, is there anything else I need to look at now do I have any managers now this is a new concept in Tropico this hasn't been in the previous games um, what managers do I have Ooh, there's an altruist manager now each of the managers types have different skills and this guy increases wealth for 20% um, of the workers which is quite good this is an inventor he generates research points proportional to the business or proportional to the buildings effectiveness that's actually not bad but you know what I think I'm gonna put him in a different building but I you know I think I'm actually gonna take I'm gonna put the altruist no I'm not actually because there's I think there's there's better ones for the plantations that, that increase productivity for like all plantations in the area I think I'm gonna maybe stick out for one of those because th those two guys they're okay but um, they're not gonna help us out like massively like right this second so okay that's that effectiveness we need workers in here yeah we've got room for one two three four five six like six more workers in here we can invite foreign workers if we want to so like I've just invited one to come here it only cost me fifty dollars um, and I can invite more foreign workers if I wanted to but I've, we've already got quite a few people and if I click on it we can see um, we've got 17 unemployed there are 17 seven open jobs so we, we kind of don't need people at the moment alrighty uh, what else upgrades now if I research the sickle then we can Im increase the effectiveness of this building um, which is no bad thing but we can't do any research let's click on the old research down here we can't do any research until we start generating research points and that comes from buildings like libraries and stuff and we will get to that all right so let's crank this back up this is built so I'm gonna to go to the trade and I'm gonna take this contract now now we only have one ship for, for like for each dock you build you get a ship um, now you get two types of ships coming you get the ships for the contracts which is this one that we've just allocated the moldy crow <laughs> what a name for a ship the moldy crow like it um, but like pretty much as soon as possible I'm gonna build a, a second dock the second type of ship is just regular trade ships that come in and they just take out any resources that you happen to have lying around ready for export cool so oh, we've got another little icon over here technological if I progress is the path to autonomy governor we need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff cool thank you Evita this is a scary looking chick don't you think Ooh, okay um, so um, we need to research so it's asking us to build a library I, I kind of knew this one was coming okay so we will accept that and we will go down to um, 
no we won't we'll go over here and research it's I think over oh here it is research library cost 5,000 so now I could probably build this and go into debt and and you know what you know what I'm going to I'm going to now which way around do I want this building it doesn't matter it doesn't need to be connected to roads so I'm just gonna uh, you know what? I'm gonna have it around that way I kind of like it better that way yeah let's whack that in and as you can see we're now like close to 5,000 in debt but it means that we're now going to be producing research points so I'm going to queue up the sickle now before we can research the next kind of level we need to do at least two of these as you'll see it says research two more technologies so I'm going to queue up the sickle and the shovel this will unlock mines which is no bad thing okay so we'll let the research get on and as you can see we our money is going down at the moment because we're, we're spending money to you know keep our buildings going on all the rest of it but here comes oh not one, but two trade ships. Now they've brought us that foreign worker that I purchased, and and a, a, a new citizen has arrived. So the uh, our population is going to go. The world. We rule in secret. We are the salvation of mankind. We are the order, and you will be one of us. Oh, secret society. I like that. All right, now, the objective, and this is the like the entire mission, is to declare independence. That's what this is all about. In order to do that, we have to get our popular support above 50%. To do this, improve the happiness and take steps to increase the revolutionaries on your island. So, so it's all going to be about um, Im improving this number down here right and uh, and getting lots of revolutionaries right now we only have eight and there are 40 loyalists oh look there's dizzy disaster he's just started playing so he's, he's just started his stream in actual fact <clears throat> i would love to be in there but i need to be playing this doll oh. alrighty so um a, a freighter has just arrived and exported uh, 1500 which has reduced our debt which is very very good news there's our declared independence. We need to build a sugar plantation pretty soon. Oh, look, our trade ship exported 4,000. Now, that was the the mouldy crow. And it took away 2,700 tobacco. That was very awesome. Now, I'm going to boost this building as well because I want these tobacco buildings to be producing as much as possible so that we um, we get as much as possible oh and the crown sent us 5,000 so what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to put in uh, what's what's this plantation this is a corn plantation there I'd like let me pause this for a second because I'd like to put in another tobacco plantation because tobacco brings in a lot of cash so, like, where's another greenish kind of area? This isn't too bad over here, you know. I, I'm going to go with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to live with that there. So, I want to extend my road a little bit. So that the, the Teamsters can uh, I'll run that road right over there. That's cool. And as soon as that um, is completed, uh, I'm going to boost that, boost the budget up, get the efficiency up. We've got some more icons over here, so we've got some more uh, tasks. I'm going to. The burden up. of ruling twists our perception of humanity. To us, people are just a resource that has to be managed properly. Okay, so. Uh, build five country houses, and we get a reward of five managers. Lovely, so we we'll accept that one. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. X 
Excellent. Now, some of these are very, very funny. Um, that one kind of wasn't. <laughs> but you'll see as we go through. Okay, we've got one more task. That Being we able to stand on your own is a virtue I personally cherish. Self-sufficiency should be every country's goal. Now, this is a pretty darn good one. You need to build up your treasury to 15,000, and then you get 12 educated revolutionaries. Educated people are very good. Some of the, the buildings need educated people. And uh, revolutionaries, that's what it's all about. The more revolutionaries that we can bring in, the better. So that's one that we want to do kind of sooner rather than later. But um, the best way to get that is um, to have a good, strong economy and to be bringing in lots of stuff. So, uh, that hasn't quite built yet, but we've got enough money now that I can think about investing in another dock. And I'm going to do that. I think it's a good idea to get some docks up relatively early so that you can have more contracts. Because you'll get more money for exporting your goods. Okay, now on the subject of that, I'm going to have a quick look over here. And I'm going to see what contracts. So that's the one that we're doing now. We're exporting tobacco. Uh, we've got there's a potential wool contract, fish, corn, but um, you know they don't bring in anywhere near as much as tobacco. Tobacco is very good. Wool is pretty good. So I think we could maybe think about doing some some llama farms. Uh, that's where you get your wool from. Or you can import goods uh, and then convert them into other things and export them. But um, we, we, we can't do that at the moment. Now we can export logs and actually that's not bad. That's a 50% hike on the default price for logs. So hmm, I'm thinking we're going to get logging going pretty good. Uh, pretty quickly and uh, there's no industry contract no industry goods contracts and no luxury goods contracts at the moment but then we're not producing any so I wouldn't expect it to be okay right Whew. let's get this going oh we've got another another little quest listen very carefully I shall say this only once I've learned that a secret weapon that is crucial to the revolution <laughs> That's very cool. Listen, listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. This is a nod to a, a British program called Hello Hello. I like that. Right, so, um, uh, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We need to build a library. See, I knew this was coming. Um, so, we'll accept this quest. And um, there's our library. But it's saying build a new library. Oh no. Our Mind you building team, two libraries would be me, discovered the shovel forty times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like underground. Kill! Right, so mines are now unlocked. Now, are, do we have any mines anywhere around? Now Mines. I say, being a crown a colony is a kind of competition. One you are losing, old chap. The colonies of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo are beating you badly. Okay, now, uh, we've been asked to pay extra taxes. Now, we've got uh, a few options. We can just pay it, which is 5,000. We can pay double, and then we'll get a 12-month extension to our mandate. Um... To be honest, you kind of no, don't need to do that. You, you'll get plenty of extensions anyway. Um, or don't pay the tax and you get minus 30 to Crown Relations. Now, that is going to impact how much they pay you uh, each year. But, hmm, I think, hmm, I think I'm going to say 